and hello everyone welcome back to your final Lua tutorial or I guess this isn't much of a tutorial it's just kind of a way to push you into the right direction before we finally finish off this course so you might be wondering what now we have basically finished learning Lua and you might want to continue with it well first off I would recommend checking out Lua Rocks and looking at some of the packages, some of the libraries you can use in Lua. So this means like the Lua file system, for example, a file system library for Lua program language probably allows you to work better with the file system than what OS allows you. Or Lua SQL allows you to work with SQL. There's so many things you can get if you try and go to, for Lua. You could even maybe try and do some Roblox coding with Lua because they use a form of Lua for most of their games. So you can use Lua for that as well if you're into Roblox. One of the courses I would have given or would have taught but decided against because I have I don't do game development anymore. I have figured out that's not what I want to do. It's kind of boring. At least for me it is but it was fun while it lasted i was actually about to create them about three videos before i finished my lua course here and then i was like okay i'm just not going to anymore but if you want to do game development in lua which is something that a lot of people do because lua is truly a great a great language for game development and I myself really loved it before I just decided it's too much effort and that's not really something I'm interested in because it just takes too much time for a very small amount of things. Even if you're doing something like Godot or Unity, it's just not something I'm interested in. But if you are, I would recommend checking out Love. It is free and it allows you to create some basic and pretty cool games. I can actually show you something I probably have here. Here we go. So it's basically the game I made in Delphi, but it's a little bit, you know, less difficult. But it's interesting because you can make some pretty cool games. This is just a very basic example of a type of game you can make. And later on, there will be more balls coming at you, as you can see there. And if you click it, as you can see, we get a replay menu, quit, go to menu. We go here, we can go to settings, which doesn't really do anything because I never really got there because I like to work with a bunch of games at once, and yeah. Now if we go to the asteroids, and just love dot here. Now this game is not complete, but it has some basic functionality, so you can't really shoot, but I do believe you can explode. I'm not quite sure, and it went off screen, so let me just bring it back here. Let's see, and yes, you can explode, and yeah. So this is just, a game I'm, I was also a bit working on, but decided to drop because it's not something I'm really too interested in to anymore. And yeah, so you can make a lot of cool things with love and you should just try it out because it really is amazing if you love game development, or at least if you want to try it, this can also give you kind of an idea of what's happening in the background because it basically the whole concept is you draw, you update and you load. That's the whole concept. You do everything in there and it just, it just works. But if you don't really want to continue learning Lua, if you're happy with what you have, then I would recommend learning C and or C++. I do have a course coming out right now as we speak, because why not? So I'm doing a C++ course right now. And if you want to, I recommend learning C++ because Lua is actually kind of meant to be built or to kind of be used inside of C or C++ a little bit of an extension of the language to make things a little bit easier. Maybe create a settings file and then you parse that settings file with C++ or C. So that's one way to do it. But if you don't want to learn that, I do recommend learning Python because Python is really similar to Lua. And Python is basically the Lua that took off, that became popular and now everyone wants to use it. So I would recommend learning Python because Python is basically Lua, it's just more popular. So yeah, these are some of the things you can do if you now want to continue, if you want to continue with what you have. I also have a Python course on my channel. F Crash course is also coming out soon. And yeah, that's about all there is to it. 
Ah, thank you for watching and joining in on this Lua course. Lua is truly one of my favorite programming languages, probably in my top three. It is sad that I decided I don't like game development, otherwise I would have continued to teach game development for a while at least. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this whole course we had and I will see you all again in the next tutorial.